Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we had a roller coaster of emotions. Oh my lord. I I choked up, I almost cried. Ah jeez a lot happened i'm not going to spoil it because if you guys haven't checked last episode what are you guys doing go check it out uh today we are going to continue right where we left off we left off still with some quests to do and i am right now going to do that so you need to go back to the manor of the wicked and explore here oh quick trigger a life bottle said go to the manor of the wicked and explore the room the room where you couldn't explore before which was the one where the dawn was so we got a thing for raven all right all right um let me let me okay and then raven it should be quick trigger here we go the only one that <coughs> i haven't learned anything all right now on to the other destination which we have to go to the shiko's ruins of course i forget to fight all right so we are what the heck is this that is new i keep forgetting that while i'm on the world map i can't press e i mean square tentacler okay it's level 11. oh i never fought this well, sorry about this then. Bam. That was way too quick. Alright, but... Disappeared. Oh well. We are going here. Our next destination is the Shy Coast Ruins. So apparently there's something here. What it is? No idea. There's someone there. Those guys are from Ruin Gate. Hearing about Ruins Gate again makes me think of Regay. Don't forget that Regay we saw was the imposter. Regay was Jaeger. Wait, I thought that Jaeger was disguising himself as the real Regay. Really? I think that's how it is. Hey, look at this funny-looking thingamabob I found. Archie, you found a part of a Blastia housing. So awesome, Mark. I'll bet it's a priceless historical artifact. Let's get this back to Aspio in a hurry and show it to the researchers. Don't forget to write your name on it to prove you're the one who found it. Just what you guys think you're doing? What's going on? What do you think you are? Who do you think you are vandalizing a valuable specimen like that? It's my natural right as the one who found it. You idiot! What are you trying to do? Ah! It's not coming off! Okay, you two. Sit your butts down. Now! Uh, Marita? What are you doing? I'm going to explain to these halfwits the importance of treating Blastia with the little respect. Look, Archie, I think the little mage is going to give us a presentation. <laughs> Why is she so high and mighty? Shut up and listen. Got it? Yes, ma'am. I've never heard so many words come out of a, such a little person. I think we better do. I'm better off doing as she says. Sheesh. I'm going to give Ruins Gate a piece of my mind when I get back to Aspio. Still, they. Seem really harmless. I guess you're right. But it's the well-meaning idiots that sometimes do the most damage. Aw, oh, come on. Let it up. Alright, I guess that was it. Let's go now to Mount Tenza. I will... Let's see, where the heck is it? The desert is all the way over there. So that means we have to sail all that north side. I see something here. Hold on. What's this? 
Ooh, okay. All right, let me know. All right, so if the desert is all the way up there, I mean, at least we have this, so this is good because we went to Shaiko's ruins. Oh, it's snowing. I hope we get like a snow place. Oh my God, that would be really amazing. This is actually pretty cool, this area. I have a quick ways to go. So when we get there, how are you guys day been going, guys? Hope you guys have been feeling well and uh, okay. <laughs> have you been feeling well and your day's been going great? We are on our way to Mount Tenza, if I'm not mistaken. Watch me be, watch me be mispronouncing the name. Is that it? It can't be it, right? What is this, by the way? Oh, I don't know what that is. So I'd rather not. So Bicky in the water. Nope, this is not... This does not look like the place. It's over the desert, so I have to pass the desert, right? Watch it be this, and I have to come back. But that does not look like a mountain. At all. The desert is all the way down there, is it? Yeah, it is. I am not where I need to be. Oh, boy. I should have gone the other way. You guys are probably screaming at me. Michiru, Michiru, stop being a dumbass. You're going the completely wrong way. So, since it's going to be quite a trek, I'll just jump to where we're closer. All right, so we must be getting close. All right, so. I'm going to lie. This world is huge. Holy... I'm guessing that's the mountain. This is the only place I oh. There are new enemies. Fight them off immediately. Man, could you be any weaker? Oh my god. That's quite a lot. Sand thief? Oh, you're only okay. Alright, let me use another one because. Sword beak. Ooh. That was quite a lot of damage there. Can I, can I, guys? Can you use like spells, please? I'm just jumping over everything. All right, let me take care of the... No! I don't know what that did. Ah. Oh, I'm going to have to fight another one because I need to get the druid info. Which I can probably do it off screen. It's completely fine. Well, that's quite a lot of stuff that we got, at least. Did it still finish? Yes. All right. We got the one, but we also have the Sinclair Saber. It should be. Yep. All right, we're getting the Saber and then we're going for the wand. Hopefully we find other sand people here. Oh, this is new as well. New little critter. We do battle with all, our might. all right. Get this. Axe sigil. I hate that I, I like try to do stuff and it like stops me. There we go. Alright. Come on. There we go. Nope. No. Was fine. Oh, here we go. All right. I'm going to show it simply because 
I believe the mountain is here. Man, could you be any weaker? Yeah, and there's the druid. Perfect. Let me just go directly to her. No. You know what hungers for prey? That. There we go. Oh, simple. No, I don't. Come on, get up. Oh, I was about to... I was about to jump. PA Force, was that the last one? Farida? No, magic combo. Alright, I believe this should be the mountain, right? E yes, I believe. Hopefully. Oh, we are. Perfect. And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. Alright. These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Uh oh. Could it be the hunting blades? Possibly. That or it might be the knights. Oh no. But why would the knights be here? Judith. Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Apathea all of a sudden? It was so pretty, all sparkly and glittery. I'm sure it's incredibly valuable. We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. Yeah. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. So I have to go save her. Judy, I wonder if she'll tell us. I don't know. It's up to her whether she'll talk or not. Of course, if she decides not to. Yuri. Hey, you guys, come look at this. This is crazy. What is... Oh, my God. Oh, God. It's going to be another one of these, is it? What the heck is this? The mountain's been flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here 10 years ago, that I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. 10 years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Missions for the dawn, I imagine? Uh, well... <sighs> that voice! Is that you, freak? Call her freak. Everything's all right. Let's hurry. Yeah. Oh! These are our chests are gonna look like? A tent. Okay, anything else? I haven't missed anything while walking up here. Never know. Never know. Oh, another scene. It's even worse from up close. I've never seen a hole this big before. <laughs> There's no way this could have happened naturally. Obviously. It looks like something exploded here. An explosion. Are there monsters that can do something like this? What if she is a Critian? Knows what the Apatheia can like. Not well, not the Apatheia, the Blastia. What if this was a Blastia disaster? Oh, I see chests over there. They were, but those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean wiped out? What you see here. This was a battleground in the Great War. What? Really? So that means humans and Entelakea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government histories give many details about what happened. Hmm. So the Entelakea did this to the mountains. Terrible power. Yeah. A great war. Ten years ago. That must have been when you were a baby, Patty. I... But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. Oh. Got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. Yeah, makes sense. It was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually into Achaea. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Raven. 
We've been around for a while. A lot if you live long enough, kiddies. Okay, enough history lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. The monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? We have to hurry then. Judy's really strong. There's no way she'll go down easily. I agree. Of course not. I've got to give that dragon freak a beat down. Sure, sure. I can't let a monster beat me to the punch. Yeah. Let's hurry. Let's go. Oh, the Great War. Man, the Great War. I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochia must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed. The Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. And I'll bet those secrets are hidden somewhere in this mountain. So we have yeah. to look for them. But the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... It's good to be knowledgeable. Oh, there's a chest down here. Growing earth. Saw another one here. Red sage. And fight this. We'll destroy them in no time. Oh, of course it has something we haven't fought. The heavy bot. The heavy bottom. Ow. Ow. All right, come down. There we go. Now for this. And now this one. Oh my god, that was a combo. That really was a good combo. All right, and this one, Saffron. All right. And now let's keep going where we were. Fight this and move on. All right, after that. Oh, there's stuff here. Mm. You can see, oh, there's something over here as well. As the deadly horn. And we'll fight. Alright, after that. Let's go straight. Oh, it's this way. Is something else hidden? Nope. But there's this. This is a new one. Alright, let's see. Dread dead reap. All right, let me do this. Let me get some TP. I just do this for TP. <laughs> Easy TP. That's what happens when I get serious. I just spam. That's what happens. Are you getting serious? Is just spamming away. What's down here? There has to be a way to get that, right? Mm. What? Oh. There has to be a way, right? Oh my god. Alright. Oh! The hunting blades! I knew it! Are these new or the same ones we had? Oh, same ones. All right. Ouch. Ow. I'm trying my best to like keep him down. Ooh, Patty is going ham. Oh, 
All right. Oh, more of them. Prepare to meet your doom. These new, yeah, these are new. Soya. All right, level thirty-five. So that means we are in a good. Okay, just interrupt me, I guess. Oh, wow. Blocked it, huh? Come on. Oh, you're done. <sighs> you're so annoying. So annoying. So freaking annoying. These humans are... They're going to be very annoying, the human enemies. Is there anything... That I missed? Not that I know of, hopefully. All right, now that I can see. Keep moving onwards. Oh, here's another one. Is this just a druid or this is a hunting blades? Here's another thing I can't get through. All right. Oh, at least there's one thing over here that I probably can get. Yes. Lemon gel. Yes, we're taking that. Thank you. All right. Continuing on. Oh my god, there's so many hunting blades on this mountain. Okay, any other enemies? Okay, that were not gonna pop up out of nowhere. Oh. What's up? What's the matter? I was just thinking about what Judy said. Bowel saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. What? So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon freak during the Great War? It'd be kind of sad if Judy was an enemy of mankind. Mm -hmm. Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? Huh? Why? I think only someone who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Oh. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Very true. I thought I was going to die back then, too. Uh, if only I died then, things would have been so much easier, too. Why? If only you died. What a weird thing to say. I know, right? So, did you ever see Judith during the war? No, not a chance. I may be a player, but ten-year-old girls are definitely off-limits for me. Uh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Then it sounds like Judy didn't participate in the war. Right. I mean, if it was ten years ago, she'd be nine. That's even younger than me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I feel like I never saw Baul either. Maybe they ran away from the battle? Probably. That seems like the case, or likely scenario. So it was really the Antelakea who fought in the battle? Yes, I guess so. Though at the time, we thought they were only a really terrible breed of monsters. But, wow! You were really in the war, huh, Raven? Why are we going back to that? That's so cool! I thought only Imperial Knights fought in the war. And the guild, I guess, right? Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you're older. Oh, maybe he was a knight! What? Oh, that's interesting. Hold on, let me go back. I'll go back down, in case I missed anything. Never mind, this is another path that I can't go through. <sighs> These just seem to be quite the habit now. What's up next? More hunting blades, of course. Why would I expect anything less? Alright, at least everything's super linear. Comes in Phoenix. Perfect. Another dagger for repeat. We just got another one. Oh, it's a plus one. Ah, I see, I see, I see. All right. Let me get this one out of the way. I'm not going to fight it. Oh, I'm going to fight this one, I guess. All right, anything here? Oh, there is. A treat and specific. Yeah, let's go up. Oh, this is the village. Right? There's the pretty invited village that was here then. Oh, wow. This is a Critian city? More like the remains of one. There might be some treasure around here. Patty, not the time. What do you think Judith would come here for? This is where she lived, right? I suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. Repeat. The oh. Hunting blades. 
They're getting dispatched. Judith! There she is. You. Hey! Damn you! Go inform Tyson and Nan. Oh no. Hey, nobody lays a hand on one of our own. Yeah, you're part of us though. Laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. Oh, I see a chest. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him. Go. You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Anyone who interrupts our conversation is going to be taking a long nap. Oh. Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, no. Nah. You followed me here. Of course. Yeah, we're here to settle things for the sake of the guild. Judith, tell us everything you know. Why you destroyed the Blastia? About the Apatheia and the Entelechia, their relationship to Pharaoh, all of it. And even though you're one of us, your answers will decide your fate. Oh snap! Punish the unjust, was it? Yeah. Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Might as well tell us. Come. Where are we going? Yuri. Yuri. What did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing that Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. Yuri? If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade... An Antilochia, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Farrell? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. Wow. Things really are getting serious. <sighs> I... The Hunting Blades again. The Hunting Blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. Most likely. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go. <laughs> Carol. Our boy's growing up. He yeah. sure is. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the hunting blades? I hope so. But it's pretty much up to them. Yep. Let's see. Got a Grand Scepter. I saw something. Here it is. Melon gel? Yes. Hmm. Anything else? Check. Check what? Rubble spreads as far as the eye can see. From the looks of it, the land was once adjoined up to all the way over there. Wow. I heard wow. stories of a Critian town, but I never knew where it was. Me too. Didn't expect it to be on Mount Temza. They must really value their privacy to build a whole town on a mountain. Is there something they don't like doing in front of other folk? Critians are a secretive lot, to be sure. Yep. All right. Let's head on this way. Of course, it's more hunting blades. Come here. Alright, over in this path. We're gonna transform bow. Perfect, because we did need a new bow for Raven. Let's see a sentimental landscape. The hole in this mountain is like the hole in my heart. Ah, how my chest aches. Getting all sentimental on us, old man? Nah. It's just memories of the war. I'd appreciate it if we didn't spend too much oh. time here. Stop being such a coward. Oh, that hurts, Rita. That's not being a coward. The only way to get past a bad memory is to embrace it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Not really. I was just generalizing. Anyway, you want to hurry, right? Then let's go. Our little genius mage is more mature than she looks. All right. Onwards. Oh, there's a chest here. Aries. Oh, we needed one. 
mean he did one. Oh, this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Of course, it can't go that way. Wait, oh, oh, uh, yeah, I can't go that way. I was like, oh, I see something. But I can't go that way. Oh, my God. There's a chest over there. I saw something here. Grab the chest. Tribal guard. Even though I already had gotten one, I believe. Okay, there's a thing there. Oh, can't go down this way. So let me go this other way. Ooh, more enemies. Let me take care of all these. All right, so we grab this chest and we have right. Well, I haven't run into one in a while, so why not? And it's one I don't know. Great. Pandor. All right. 37,000. Yikes. That one's actually pretty strong. Almost like a boss fight. I should have healed. Already down to 23. Come on, guys. Well, there's a lot going on, so... I'm also building the... Gauge again. There you go. <laughs> fake... Fake box fang. And a limit bottle. All right. I can't get this. Yeah. How are we going to get these? I feel like we have to get something later on. That will allow us to get it. And of course, there's the fight. All right. So what does this chest have? Red lavender. Right. And a healing safe point. So that means there might be a boss fight ahead. So... I'm going to leave this episode here. If you guys have been enjoying these videos as much as I have, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.